These are classic deviled eggs, but you can put whatever you like on the top. What's the first thing that goes at a party? Deviled eggs. I'm going to show you how to make classic deviled eggs and with a little bit of a twist and a couple of tips and tricks. First of all, you want to do perfect steamed eggs. I've already done a video on this and you basically steam them for 13 minutes and plunge them into cold water and they peel great and you get a really nice rich yolk. That's how an egg should taste. So I've already done that step and now I've got this container and it holds a dozen deviled eggs and it's good for travel to the beach or in the car or on the boat and I'm just going to put them in here. There we go. I've got a dozen and I've got the yolks. Just cut them in, cut them in half. Um, I use a really sharp knife and I kind of dip it in water too to get a nice clean cut. You don't want a serrated cut. So nice and clean and I'm not going to put anything funky into this. This is like a classic deviled egg. So I've got the yolks and I'm basically going to put in two to three tablespoons of mayonnaise. There we go. Now the magic to this, it's not pickle juice and it's not, it's not Dijon mustard or relish or anything like that or yellow mustard. That stuff, nah. The secret to this is white vinegar. One teaspoon of white vinegar, that's it. It's a classic version and it works really well. I go old school with a fork and I'm just going to mix this up really, really well. That mayonnaise should make it salty enough, but I'm just gonna put like a little, little grind of uh, fresh cracked pepper in here. There, that's nice and creamy. Now just taste it for, for mayonnaise. That's really good. Now, I highly recommend buying some of these bags. It's a piping bag. I got this out of China. It's um, from AliExpress and I got a hundred of them for a dollar, under two dollars. It takes probably six weeks to two months to get it though. And, but it, it makes your deviled eggs a lot um, nicer looking and easier and faster to make. So I'm going to spoon this in to the bag. That little bit of vinegar is the real secret to making a good deviled egg. So now I've got it into the bag. You just basically shake it down, twist the top like this, and snip the end off. Don't get that in the egg. There, I've snipped the end off. And we basically just come in and just pipe it right in like that. Evenly throughout all of the eggs. You're gonna like this recipe. It's just classic. And uh, whether you're keto or not, everybody just loves this particular version of, of eggs. So I do about that much on each one. Okay, so I've got them filled up. Now here comes the fun part. For all you deviled egg weirdos out there, you can put whatever you like on the top. And as I said, I don't like pickle juice and I don't like Dijon mustard in my, in my deviled eggs, but I don't mind that on top sometimes. So what I do is I've got some suggestions here. I've got some bacon. I've got some Parmesan cheese, some shaved Parmesan cheese, some jalapenos, fresh or pickled. I've got some pickles, some olives. Some people like olives, some don't. I've got some green onion. I've got some Dijon. Um, you, can, um, you can put on celery salt, a little Dijon on the top if, if you want to. I've got some bagel seasoning mix. And I like um, chipotle chili powder and fresh pepper, of course. But I just wanted to mention that in the, um, the yolk stage, you can actually take those yolks and smoke them. Or you could put a couple of drops of liquid smoke in if you like uh, a smoked deviled egg. Or you can smoke the yolks on, on your smoker. So I'll just uh, decorate these up and garnish them the way that I think they should be garnished. A little chipotle chili powder, a little fresh ground pepper on the top. 
The Parmesan cheese is very nice with these. But you can see it's a nice little snack. And we, uh, when we travel, we always take this little container with us. But doesn't that look delicious? These are deviled eggs, classic deviled eggs. And you can do whatever weird thing you want to put on the top there. Um, except for Dijon mustard. Classic deviled eggs for weirdos. Thanks for watching.